Hello students, welcome to my class. In this class for class 3 mathematics. I hope you are all well in your home. And I am also Okay. Uh, we have been studying the first chapter named numbers up to 9999. We have discussed about the last video of the last chapters um, is four digit numbers. What is the uh, characteristic? Uh, what is the uh, highest or largest four digit number? What is the smallest four digit number? And their number names and how to express in abacus, etc. etc. Today. We will discuss important topic. The name is even number and odd numbers. Even numbers and odd numbers. Yeah. So we have to know what is even number. What is even numbers? When a digit, when a digit starts, uh, when a digit in the ones place in a number, when a digit in the ones place in a number is zero, two. 3, 4 and 6 those number will, will be called even numbers I am repeating again the digit in the ones place in a number is 0, 2, 3, 4, 6 so the number will be called even numbers example Example 12. Is it or even number? Yes, because this is a two digit number. So you have to check the ones place. What is the ones place? This. And what is the number? 2. By the definition, in the digit in the ones place, in the uh, if the digit is one of them, then it will be even number. So by the definition, so it will be even number. If I put 90, it's also be a even number because in the ones place it is zero. By definition, it follows that it is an even number. If I write three-digit number like nine eight six. So first of all you have to check the ones place. What is the ones place in the three digit number? That is 6. And this number is from this. So 986, this will be another even number. Okay. Now I am going to the next odd number. digit in one's place in a number is 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 then the number is called odd number if the digit if a digit in the one's place in a number is 1 3 5 7 and 9 any one of any one of them, then the number should be called odd number. Example fifty seven. 
you see this is a two digit number and you have to check the ones place let me do two digit number you see here is seven and by definition i have told that any number from uh, any number that is 1 3 5 7 and 9 in the ones place situated then the number will be called odd number so similarly by definition it follows that in the ones place this number is 7 and this number total number the 57 is the odd number and that in three digit number three digit number uh, 9 5 You have to check once plus once plus. This is three, and you see that the digit will be if the once plus the digit will be three or one or five or seven or nine. So, so the number will be the odd number. So by definition, you can see that it, it can follow. Uh, you can follow the number that it will be the odd number since here is three. So you can write. Uh, any odd number and even number. Now, now I am going to show you through another process. You know. Zero also with the odd number. 
when you can approach 0 is also the even number because uh, there is another definition of even number okay for next class uh, but you have to know the definition uh, what I am what I have taught about this so you have to follow this but in the while you will be in the higher section so you will get another definition from the even number for the even number so just forget about so zero now I am approaching zero is even number okay many of them is called zero is neither even number nor uh, odd number okay some of them consider zero is the even number some of them is consider zero is neither an odd number neither uh, neither an uh, even number nor a odd number so forget about it. but you have to follow the definition that is even number definition is if the digit in the ones place of a number or in a number is 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8 so the number would be called even number okay. now I am going to the next portion if I am adding even to the odd number what will I get if I add any even number with any odd number what, what will I get? I get it. Suppose uh, you take uh, even number that is 6 and you take any odd number that is 3 so you will get 9 you know this is the odd number so if you add even to the odd number you will get odd number you have to remember ok then if we add even to even number so what will you get what will you get you get even number suppose 12 and another even number is 14 so if you add this so you will get 26 and you know in the first digit or in the ones place the digit is 6 so it will be the even number so you will get this is the even number so sum of two even numbers is also be even number and is another if I add a odd number to the even number sorry if I add two odd numbers two odd numbers suppose two odd numbers seven and this is nine they are all uh, the two numbers are also odd numbers you know 7 plus 9 equal to 16 so you get this is an even number so sum of two odd number is also an even number so you have to remind you have to okay let me remember this 3 1 3 the even plus odd equal to odd number even plus even equal to always even number and odd plus odd number equal to even number
you know, this is also be an even number. Okay, I will say the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I just I told it wrong. If you see in the first peak, if you see the first peak, there are nine students or nine children are playing basketball. So the first one is how many players? Nine. So this number is odd number. And the second peak, one, two, three, four, five, six. The students are six, so this is an even number. Clear? Okay. Now I'm going to the skip counting. Okay. Please follow this example. One four zero two. One four zero four. One four zero six. One four zero eight, and so on. Please look at very carefully. We have to check first of all in the first digit because the remaining three digits one four zero, one four zero, one four zero, one four zero are same. Clear? So you have to check the ones place. The ones place. The first one is two. Second one is four. Third one is six. And Fourth one is eight. So they are skipping. They are skipping fixed distance or fixed number. How many numbers? Two numbers are skipping. Okay. So this is a skip counting for two years. Skip counting. Skip count in two years. That is skip count. Please, you see, here is two, then four, then six, then eight, and then it will be one, four, one, zero. So you see, this is zero. Another, after one, four, one, zero, it will be one, four, one, two, one, four, one, four. One four one six, one four one eight. You look at very carefully. The number is here two four six eight zero. Then again two four six eight zero are coming. So if you add two 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 to the numbers, you will get. To uh, these numbers, so they are the skip counting in two ways. If you see, there is a fixed gap. The gap is two. The gap is two. The gap is two. The gap is two. And so now skip count in five ways. Two five zero zero. Then. I guess means you have to check the one digit. So I will be added to I zero five. The number is two five one zero two five one five two five two zero. So you see, first one is zero, then is five, then zero, then five, then zero, then five. So Look at the digits in the ones place. It can be five or zero, zero or five, zero or five. In the digit, in the ones digit, you see zero, five, zero, five, zero, five. In the previous, in previous, it will be two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, six, eight, zero. In the ones place. Now, say another. Skip count in hundred is okay. Hundred is that is one eight zero two. Hundred it means you have to check this place. So uh, then for 
power will be 1902 because the gap is fixed and the difference between two successive numbers is 100. Difference between two successive numbers is 100. Difference between two successive numbers is 5. Difference between the two successive numbers is 2. Always 2. Always 2. So they will be, their difference will be 100. So after uh, 1902, it will be 2002. Then it will be 2102. Then it will be 2202, and so on. So in the hundreds count, if the hundreds place is changing. See, this hundreds place is changing. Okay. Now I am going to the last topic. That is successor and predecessor. Successor and predecessor. What is successor and what is predecessor? Clear? Yeah. What is successor? Successor means a number comes after a given number. A number comes after immediately after a given number. Suppose I am giving I am giving a number nine four seven. So what number comes after immediate after? Yes, this is nine four eight. So you add plus one. So you get nine four eight. So nine four eight is the successor of nine four seven. If I add, uh, if I giving the number nine nine nine. So what will be the successor of nine nine nine? So you have to add plus one. You get one thousand. What will be the successor of 567? Yes, if we add plus 1, and that will be 568. So they are all successor of their respective given numbers. Clear? Now, predecessor. Predecessor means a number comes before a given number just before a given number so here I have taken 947 so what number comes before 947 yes 946 so here we subtract it 1 so 947 minus 1 we will get 946 So here is another example, 999. So what is the number that comes before 999? So this number will be 998. Same logic here. And 568, 567. What number comes before 567? 566. Six. So all are the predecessor of their respective given numbers. Clear? For the, I'm repeating again, for successor, when, when you have to find the successor of any given numbers, then you have to add plus one. When you have to find the predecessor of the given number, so you have to subtract 1 from this given number. So you will get the answer. Clear? Okay. Now this is the this is the today's lesson and I will discuss their problems and exercise in the next class or in, in the next video.
see you on the next video. Thank you.